how to create a blog in Google Sites step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create your own blog using Google Sites. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. Now, the best part about using Google Sites is that you don't have to sign up to another platform. Google is something that you already are probably using and it's really simple and easy to do. So for this, you can either use a template. I like to get started from scratch. So you can just click on blank site on the top left. From here, it's time to start designing your blog. Now you have to choose how you want to structure your site. So for this, as the first step, I like to add the site username. So Lily's Fashion Blog. And then after that, I'm going to start designing my home page. So let's say this is going to be a welcome page and I want to use a large banner and I'm going to write welcome to my world of fashion, style, and much more like so. After that, I'm going to change the font size on this. I'm going to select the text and I'm going to change the font size. And then after that, I'm also going to alter the image in the background. For that, I'm going to upload my own image. If you don't have your own images ready for this, I recommend using a tool like Canva to start creating your images. This can be really helpful. This is a really basic image, but I recommend you add something like a collage or a montage of images that is just going to look visually appealing. Now on my header, I have a simple name. I do recommend that you create a logo for your blog. Below that, you can get started with adding different sections. Now on a glance, you usually want to add a featured blog section over here. And below that, you want to add a navigation to all of your blogs. So on the right, you are going to create new menu section, which is going to be blogs. And this will be added to your navigation on the top. Now, whenever someone clicks blogs, you want to add sub pages and you can create properties for this as well. But you can add a sub page to this, which might be fashion. And whenever someone clicks on fashion, they would be led to the fashion page. Now, after that, you can create a new sub page and start adding all of your blogs. Or if you want, you can structure this in another way, which can be really simple where I'm just going to delete this. But I'm going to create a new page called blogs. And within that new page, I am going to open up that page and I'll show you guys. So this is the blogs page. I'm going to alter the header to be title only. In that, I can insert all of my blogs. So it's basically going to be hyperlinking the blogs and you can create separate pages for those, but I'm going to just add it like so. So I'll just add a couple of different blog examples, blog one, blog two, blog three, like this, blog four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate new page, blog one, and I'm just going to click on done. Then you are just going to click on the new page from the right, and then you're going to hide it from the navigation. So this is how you can create a really simple blog page. So I'm going to name this blog two. Again, I'm going to hide it from the navigation. And whenever you add a new blog, you just create a new page for that blog three. And with the new page, you just hide it from the navigation and you ensure that it is mentioned over here. Or as I had stated, the other way to do this is all blogs like this. And then you can create a new sub page every time that a new blog is uploaded. So let's say this is blog A. And this is going to be a sub page. However, when you structure them like this, this is going to show you a drop down of all of your blog titles, which can be really extensive if you have been writing for a long time. So that is why I just like to keep one page for blogs. And then within that, you can build different categories. So you can also list them in a certain way in which first, let's say all of the first four blogs are related to fashion. I can just add a section for fashion and I would move it up. And you can stylize this as well. I'm going to add it as a title. Then I'm going to choose center alignment for this. We can also customize the color as well as the font and the font style like so. 
And then after that, I can add another text box and that text box, I'm just going to duplicate the fashion one, move it below. And this is going to maybe be about lifestyle and all of the blogs that are related to lifestyle can be hyperlinked here. Now you might say, how do I hyperlink? I created these, you know, pages, but how do my readers end up clicking from here and reaching the blog page? Well, you're simply going to select this text from here, click on this insert link icon, and then select your page. So this is blog two, and then you're going to select the page for blog two. This is blog three, you're going to select the page for blog three. And if you're including images, or if you want to do it for an entire section, because the uh, entire section can be selected together, you can do this. So you can just select your image, not the section, but just the image and i'm just going to upload a file so it's easier for us and i'm going to hyperlink the image to blog one as well so if someone clicks on the image for blog one or someone clicks on blog one they are led to the actual full blog you can also add a read more button if you want to include that to do that just click on text box add that over here you're going to restructure that over here and you're going to drag and drop it right under here and you can add read more like this and then click on the link link it like so and then i don't want to include a button i'm just going to select this click on link apply click on save and just like that we have a read more button as well if you want to do that if you can drag and drop another text block over here to display that as well once completed, just click on publish on the top right and this will publish your site and I'll show you guys what it looks like and how your viewers or your audience can navigate through it. So first I'm just going to go on to my home page, click on publish and I'm just going to click on view published site and this is what our blog looks like. People can click on blogs on the top right. And if they want to read a blog, they can just click on the image and this will open up that particular blog. And then obviously you're going to write your blogs. I haven't written mine already, so they're blank. But this is how you can create your own blog website using Google Sites. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social web websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.